Well, she's fun to play. Alright, so who do you think uh, Gale's gonna go versus Young Link? Probably Pit. Let's a Pit or Hero. I think it might put out Pit first. Yeah, I think he'll start Pit, and then if he's down, maybe we see Hero. I actually think Dark Pit wouldn't be too bad. Just because even if you can't angle the arrows, like, it's okay because Yoling's recovery is pretty high, but it's up to him. I like uh, Hero versus this character only because of Bounce. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. yeah. It's actually a good reason to go ahead like, first. You're going to be chasing uh, Young Link around the stage, and if you can fall with side B, that's going to extend your your threat against Young Link in a higher percent, like the side B can kill with Hero. So I can see si like Hero being um, a pick that works for Gao. But I, with all the pit buffs that have really come out, I'm pretty sure you just want to go take pit as far as you can. Yeah. I agree. I can, uh, I can agree with that. I want to also see uh, Kira Flex play pit. That'd be interesting. Uh, Kira Flex is a Rob main now. Really? Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> that Iron Man's Rob. <laughs> I don't know, man. I always see him like he'd be up 2-0 with Rob, and then he'll be like, "All right, time to go pit." Yep. And then, and then the score is 2-2. Yeah. And then <laughs> like, suddenly game five. And then no, Rob and comes not, back out. <laughs> no, and that's not what upsets me. It's the fact that he goes pit one game, but he commits to it for two games. I would have switched back to Rob. I would have been like, "Forget it. Rob was winning. I should nah, never gone he pit." Just, he's just very stubborn. Like, that's literally all it is. But that, that's what makes him so entertaining. Oh, yeah, that's good too. It works even better with the buff touch man. Wait, can Link do that too, huh? Bear one to up smash? Yeah. Yep. Both, both the young Link and Link. Try that though. Gale, eating up the stocks immediately. Which is always good versus, uh, you know, a character like Young Link. Because it's so easy for them to snowball uh, a lead. Yeah, especially with the, the barrage of projectiles that he has. Yeah, like, you're like, uh, you, def you desperately, like, you know, want to even up the stock, so you start rushing at him and then you run to every projectile, and next thing you know, you're like at 60%. Still trying to take the one stock. Yeah. That's, a, that's a bad feeling. I like the pit from Gale actually. It's like has enough speed. Oh no, he's not dead. He has enough speed to like actually just keep up with Young Link, and then he also has a little bit of a reflector himself too. Like I like Hero only for a bounce, but everywhere else I think it's hard because he's just so slow. It can be difficult to catch Young Link. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, Ooh. I agree. Damn, that was clean. Nice tech. Oh, he missed his aerial. Nice. Yeah, that was a very greedy nair from ledge for an Ashton there. I would have just held center. Or like, roll distance at the ledge. Cover way more options that way. I was going from, from Gale. He went for forward air, and he thought maybe like Ashton could have fallen out. And read that with down smash. I didn't even expect him that. Ooh, caught the double. Oh, okay. Watch out. Everything at the ledge. Oh, Could be oh just in the nick of time. Yeah. That already saved his life. Nice dash up for two. Ooh, so scary. I think that's the one trade off that I have to like say between Young Link and Link and Ultimate in Melee. Is yes, Melee Young Link had like a downer that was ridiculous in terms of power, but like Ultimate Link. This downer is pretty good because it has less M lag, so it's, and it still has enough power to actually kill. Yeah, I get upset when he does down air and there's literally no M lag whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> that, edit, that animation literally looks like it should. He should be in the ground long, <laughs> but he just spot dodges. 
Oh, man, I get upset. But anyway, good neutral air. The boots. That movie is really damn strong. Yeah, the Hylian Tims are very, very powerful. Dang, that was actually kind of close, though. Uh, I'm going to hell. I can't believe I laughed at that. <laughs> oh, man. Laughed at what? <laughs> Someone said in the chat, is there the only top player that can be featured in the title now? <laughs> That's like, damn it. Oh, yeah. Featuring <laughs> Larry. Featuring Larry. Well, Larry uh, lost to Chunky, so. I guess this is MSM Online featuring Chunky? Yeah. I guess. Oh, and Gale. Oh, Gale. Oh, here. there's the hero! Can I uh, actually say, I think he should actually go hero this time. I don't think he should wait to, like, keep going pit until he gets to game three and, like, he's like, okay, maybe now I should hero. I was like, nah, I think break up the hero as early as possible, see how you feel about it, and then wager the wager between which of the two you feel more comfortable in the matchup. All right, start rolling for that bounce. There it is. You got it. <laughs> Thing though that's interesting is that Young Link also just has really damn good like normals too, so he can just be like, all right, fine, no projectiles, I'm I'm, I'm down, let's fight. <laughs> the fact that both Links have really good boxing tools, like it's pretty tough. I Man, it makes sense. They have swords. Yeah. Should, uh... I think they were they only the only thing where they like is the startup frames. Like it's they they don't have the greatest of startup frames. Zoom, nice. Reset himself at the center stage. Oh, watch it. He actually yeah. almost, he actually almost died from Zoom there. He actually almost got killed for landing right there. Yeah, actually get correctly. Oh yeah, they broke the boom. <laughs> oh, the forward area. Yep. Why did they buff the boom? Oh, so the only, the only buff to Kaboom, I know it was pretty crazy too when I found that out. But I think the only thing that they did with Kaboom in terms of a uh, hero is the fact that it's just the multi hit is easier to get now. That's it. Bruh, okay? <laughs> it already sucks you in. Yeah, the suction is much bigger. Okay, like, do you need that? No. Wait, what just happened? What? Oh, okay, whatever. Mind. He was at, he was at high percent. <laughs> okay. oh, no, I thought he was at like low. I look oh like the dev team just looked at a random tournament and they're like, you know what? Kaboom should work better. <laughs> this is Buffett. Uh, just not as good as it is in Dragon Quest. No, gotta, it isn't. You gotta upgrade it. Uh oh. He's buff. He's a buffed up right now. Yeah. Oh, that's a good hit, though. Oh, yo, Ashton going crazy, though. Yeah. Combos. This is definitely a situation, but look at the stock so even between Gao and Ashen. I think he's just looking for an opportunity where Ashen might overextend, and then Gao can just punish accordingly. But he's playing it very safe. I think Gao is doing an excellent job, honestly. Oh, double not... buffs. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he wants Ashen to commit to a projectile, and he wants to be close as possible, even with or without bounce. And I think the way Gao is handling the matchup is doing is pretty good. I just think Hero is so good against zone characters in general. Oh, yeah, the only character the in the game. Of bounce. The presence of bounce yeah. being active is enough to force your opponent just to play differently. And yeah. if you have like opponents who aren't like really used to adjusting to like a non-projectile style, then it can really hurt them. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. This no, don't is... accelerate him. Just crit him. Yeah, yeah no crit. He, he tried a bit for the crit there. I don't blame him. Try. Oh, oh, that's it. That's okay, it. That's it. Bomb. Nope, nope. Bombs. Nice. Good call out from the ledge. 36 mana. Oh! oh what the sleep, boys! Damn, that was really the good. Kids timing. into bed, man. Read him a bedtime story. Drop the, drop the very, very few frames of vulnerability from Neutral Get Up with that. Kind of crazy. Yeah. He read this kid a bedtime story. He's like, yeah, man, it's time to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Yeah, drink your milk and go to bed. I wonder what he could have rolled for to get the punish on the shield break to kill there. Ko Kamikaze? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Um, yeah, Kamikaze would have been fine. No, because he's at the lost stock. 
Oh wait, yeah. So wait, hero dies first? Yeah. You oh, die that's... first. Never <laughs> mind. Well, actually, okay, so the way that I, that I understood, let me rephrase that, I'm so sorry. The way that I understand the way it works is um, the explosion happens. If you don't die, then hero dies, but hero always dies first, no matter what. Oh, wait, Hatchet Man. Hatchet Man kills that early? Yeah, Hatchet Man does kill early. It's actually a guaranteed shield break. Three, two, no, I mean, like, it would have killed, like, some. Three. At the ledge? Yeah, at the ledge, yeah. It's one of the strongest. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's like one of the strongest moves in the game. And it also has a guaranteed shield break on every character. I don't know, man. I'm still... I'm still a believer in the crit. Even though it has like a low chance of, of happening. Like if it happens, they die. If not, I have stage control. I think it's... Uh, the multiplier for crit is 13% um, per smash. So you have like a... Out of, 10, out of 10 tries, you have like a, you know, a 1 in 10 to get it. Yeah, you should always go for the crit, you know, just for the mental damage on your opponent. I think and once you get sick, that sick clip, yeah. you get the the sound bite zooms in. Yeah. 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 Once you get crit by hero, you basically just like lose all will to continue the set. Like you. <laughs> Crits oh instant my win. God. That's not, is it crit? Crit him. No, but it's enough. It's enough. Yeah. He's smashed three times in a row. <laughs> Yo, he's rolling the dice. He's like one yeah. out of eight. I'll take that. Oh wait, did he have like the, his Vegas uh, numbers? Did he have the the red buff where it is more shield damage? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Um, sorry to like answer the question. I don't know if it's one and eight. The way that I understood it, looking at the frame data and uh, and just in general seeing the character, it's like a, it's more of a one in ten, but the thirteen percent. Because it's like 13%, yeah, it feels like a 1 in 8. So you can get it more often. Uh, it's just really interesting to put the multiplier oh, for it. Almost. That's a really good take if you're on fun with your timing. Because the fully charged uh, side beat is like ridiculous amount of super scene. And it kills early for some reason. Like, this character just has so many silly moves, I just kill you. Like, I think more than any character. <laughs> I, I have to agree with that. Hey, you don't know what kind of adventure he had to go on to earn all this power, so I think he earned it. I mean, I've seen like four playthroughs of Dragon Quest XI, and I think I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know that if you hit crit, it does 36%. <laughs> Dang. For a guy you fall out of young and so deep. I like the fireball. Sizzle? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's it's Sizz, Kassiz, and then... Kashizzle? I don't know what it's called. Kashizzle? I think it's Sizz, Kassiz, and then something else. I can't remember. I'm too busy playing Final Fantasy XIV now. Go to? Uh, Close. Two hour percent. Yeah, two hundred percent. At this point, I think Gale knows if he hits him with the up B again to fish for the landing. But landing with down air, Ashton's gonna clean up the stock. What's Gale gonna do? Oh, he's yeah. Watch out, he's glowing red. Yeah. At one thirty-five, a hero oh, no. just gets within. No, oh, that's cool. Oh, dude, that was like that. a dude. That was the clutchest carry I ever seen. <laughs> he would have broke his shit. Yeah, he actually would have. It's a lot of shield damage. I'm told. Yep. Oh, that was really good for Gayo too because uh, Ashton had spot dodged, so the up B like hit the later end, so Gayo had already had a little bit more recovery than normal. Like that up B to up tilt shouldn't have worked. Yeah. Oh, this guy, yeah. Now time, it's time for Young Link to actually play the neutral. <laughs> yeah. okay, I gotta find him now. Which is still okay, because like his frame day on normal is still way better than Hero, so you can actually kind of get in his face. Yeah, that's actually the funny part. And yes, this is actually his best of five. Yeah, it's not bedtime just yet. Not getting hit by snooze. Go for the back throw. Yeah, set up boomerang oh. before there. Yep, oh, and that's it. Oh, oh close, we're living. That setup was cool. 
Ooh. Both links actually have boomerang and forward air setups. I ledge. All right, here's the zoom. zoom you gonna time. guess right? Nope. Went for center. Gay was on the right. Oh, why did you roll? Accelerate. Oh, no, he's gotta be careful. Yeah, he's gonna jump out. Ooh. Spaces and forward airs. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I did. What? oh! oh it why'd you go off stage? No. What is? What the? He bet it all. He literally bet it all. Like, if he had caught Young Link in that situation, Gale would have actually won that with Accelerate, but that was way too risky because he already lost all that mana. Yeah. He literally was like, I don't, I'm going to literally just bet the whole thing on this for their hitting. Yeah. It was all all the risk and then the reward, unfortunately, because he had no mana to back him up. I had no idea that the fireball goes through projectiles. Yeah. It, it's actually one of the few moves to do. And it's only base. I think it's. I can't. I don't. I, can't, you have I don't to, remember. You have to double it up, though. No, even base fireball. Even all, base all fireball. The, yeah. Oh, I'm looking. That, that, was that sounds crazy. <laughs> it like went through the arrow of the end. It's not every move per se, but it's the majority of moves. I think the only move it'll like then that I know for sure at the top of my head that it clanks with is a uh, wink bomb. And that's because the bomb will set it off. Yeah, cause the fire property. Yeah. Oh, when in doubt, it's time to put the pull the green hair woman out. This character does it all, man. I remember he went probably there's his coming box once. That was a weird one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see how a uh, green hair lady does. It. Yummy. Definitely don't think Paulo looks magic. Oh, here come more fire arrows. Yeah, I don't think Paulo does bad in this matchup, but I also don't know how practice uh, Gale's Paulo is. So. I've only seen it a handful of times. Uh... I think I saw him do it in the ditto, win the ditto against Not Miley Cyrus. He either won the ditto or he lost the ditto. And that was an MSM offline, so I can't really remember. Deep off stage here. Oh, not close enough to uh, confirm off the arrow. Dude, Still Young Link does keeping. not care about that platform. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keeps just, Ashton everything. kept Bayo in like disadvantage for a good like ten seconds. Okay, see, this actually is a pretty solid stake for Young Link. Oh. Yep, that was good. That was actually really good. Nice. I did not see that well, coming. Oh man, it's talk. And then he jumped into a smash. Ooh, I'm smashing player though. That's kind of crazy. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Ashen is asking himself that question. <laughs> Alright, Ashton's pretty much he set up the whole team at this point. <laughs> I mean, he like really got so much percent from uh, projectiles there, but like, yeah, it would be like two or three aerials in his team. <laughs> Our Apollo. Yeah, another Nair as shield, and guess what? We're back at even, baby. Like, it, if you just look at this game, right? Like, uh, Ashton is pressing like 10 times me button as Gale was, but Apollo's like, I, I don't care. <laughs> I just need like two of these to hit. I forgot who said that, but somebody said that for Street Fighter. In Street Fighter, it's if the more buttons you press, in the neutral, the the more you're losing. The less buttons you press in the neutral, the more you're winning. Something like that. I can't remember if it was Street Fighter or not. I just remember hearing it in one of those games. But it kind of holds true. In the neutral, like, if you're pressing less buttons, bro, it's because you know you're going to outspace your opponent, whip and punish, and go from there. Yeah. Also, it doesn't help that Yumi's lighter than Kalu either. Yeah, which is ridiculous. But it makes sense. He's a child. Yeah, look at the way that Gayo is making Ashton like have to really work for this second kill. 
Oh, man. Playing the spacing game. It's projectiling the projectile character. Yeah. Also helps that his shield has the... Oh, oh! He almost got caught by the reverse, yeah, too. That, that was, was really good. Really, really good. Oh, he needs to get a bow. Putting so much work just to die first. Okay, oh, nice. Yeah. Still up, still works. Yeah. That would have been really sad if that was one of the rare or the times where they fall out of young things up B. I think more often I see them fall out of the B more often when it's like they're hit on the backside. That's good. Alright, Ash can do a good job racking up this percent here. Ooh, you know, to the back here, not able to clip the landing with the second neutral air, but... Oh, man, he went, he went for it all with the down over there. Oh, close. Oh, look out for the boomerang. Oh, man, Ash is swinging, like, every area in the book right now. Yeah, he is going in on it. Yeah, if he gets a boomerang or even another arrow, I mean, that could be his ticket to win his finals. Yep. And it would be a good matchup for him too. DK and not too bad. Oh! Oh my gosh! Ah, uh, he's, he's so not, close! He's, he's waiting for the jump! The jump from the wall. That's what I'll do. Why did you jump into his arm? Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, that's what I'll do. Oh, that's what I'll do. Oh, that's what you know you like, the back throw every time. I actually don't does think that the back throw was a bad call. He just needed to commit and go off stage with it. Like, yeah. just pop up Palu so you don't land in her arms. I think it's one of those, yeah, he just literally just fell into the arms of a goddess and died, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, that was, that was the most telegraphed back throw of all time. <laughs> That's like when Nest player, when you're at kill percent, Nest player literally just stands up the ledge. Uh, I mean, I understand. The Nero, if it hit, probably would have killed. Yeah, that's why, that's why I mean, like, I don't, I don't blame Ashton for going for, for that Nair, because if it connected, that would have been game. But if he had just propped up, like, yeah, he would have been off stage, but he still would have had a second jump. Still would have had a B, like, he maintained all his resources still. Yeah. And he was doing the drift in there, too, so his DI was extra bad. Jeez. All right, Palu, Palu, man, that pocket Palu, always to the rescue. One, go! Game five on battlefield. Kind of questionable, but uh, I don't know, man. He lost on Kalos, and I thought that was a really good game. Stage, so. Yeah, I think Kalos is definitely one of the young ones best stages. The wall jump really helps. Oh, well, nonetheless, though, Gale uh, put it himself in a game five situation. Yeah, but I don't know what it is about Gale, but he's like always just finals of these MSM teams. Even, even when it wasn't like MSM online, like when he would sh I could show up to like tournaments, he was always capable of causing upsets. Especially offline. Like, he, he's gotten quite a few upsets on people. I'm not surprised he plays Hero. Yeah. Built to upset people. He's beaten. He's beaten. Yeah, he's beaten like Kiraflax, K9, Nito. I'm pretty sure he has a win on Ketchup. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, but I know he beat Ketchup. Um, I think Valadon has lost them. Yeah, he's he's been, he's got a couple names under his belt. I like how Gale's playing neutral. He's like, there's a rarely time where he gets hit by uh, setup and that can be to the kill. Like, yeah. I'm not even hit by the projectile, but like, he's not really in position for Ashton to follow up on it most of the time. Yeah. Oh, sucker. I can't pronounce your name. So Cerulean? Yeah, I think that's, that's actually me. I'm the one with the red Charizard card. Actually, there's another person who has it, and that's Naomi. She has the Japanese one. Uh, which is even rarer, but yeah, it's me and Naomi who have the Trizor cards. Oh, he rolled in? Ooh, good catch. Oh, he jumps in 
into the explosive flame. Yeah, Ashton actually been getting caught by a few explosive flames, like a few clutch explosive flames. Yeah, I think he just needs to slow down a bit, just to just to do it. I think, oh, it does become telegraphed at one point. I think the one time that I see like Palutena go for really good explosive flames, obviously off stage to force an option, but also when you're trying to come back on stage and you want your opponent, your opponent to actually hold shield. Good interruption on the F smash. Ashton might have been a uh, sticky situation getting. Wind box back to the ledge. Right, here we go. Fire arrow to dash attack. Yeah, at that situation, like at the at the side of the ledge, it's better to try to find a way back to the neutral than to just let me go for an explosive flame and take it from there. Because that was a little too risky. Ah, oh, uh, yep. Really bad teleport. Gale there. Again, Ashton gonna find himself with the stock lead. Let's see if he can actually use it this time. Oh, oh no! no! Stop what? cursing people, Strides! Strides, what are you doing, man? Wait, what what's up I... with you, man? That's the second curse.